Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot this issue. So let me turn on my PC. Once I turn on my PC, it's not booting and saying preparing automatic repair. Okay. If you are facing any kind of boot error, okay, your system is not booting and preparing automatic group, automatic repair could not repair your PC. So in this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot this issue. Now you can see the error automatic repair could not repair your PC. Okay. This is the error. We need to troubleshoot this. So make sure watch this video till end and your issue will be fixed. Okay. So first you need to click on this option advanced option. If you are getting another error like startup could not repair your PC or did not your PC did not start correctly. Just you need to click on advanced option. Okay. Now you will see more options. You need to click on troubleshoot. Now click on advanced option. Okay. Uh, there are six options here. Okay. So you can choose this option one by one. Okay. But uh, I recommend you to choose the command prompt first. So click on command prompt. And you may have to enter the admin password to access the command. But if you are not an admin, I will show you the other methods of fix as well in the last. Okay. So if I are admin, so perform this command SFC space slash scan now. Okay. And hit enter. We will perform the hardware steps to resolve this issue as well. Okay, the command is completed now, but it could not uh, perform the requested. So I need to perform the other another command to fix the issue. Okay, so first command you need to type boot rack. It will resolve the issue related to boot fix MBR and hit enter. You will see operation completed successfully. After that you need to hit this command boot rack space then slash okay and fix boot hit enter operation completed successfully now another command you need to hit boot rack this will regenerate the boot files space scan os it will scan the os and related all the issues is let's wait okay the operation completed successfully it might take long but you need to wait okay the next command you need to type boot track space uh, this slash and rebuild bcd this will rebuild the boot files so don't worry hit this command okay now the scan os completed and the rebuild bcd boot files as well so you need to exit out from this okay and click on continue with windows 10 so let's click on this okay again same same error it's not resolved yet okay diagnosing your pc still not resolved Okay, again, we are on a same loop, automatic repair loop. Okay, so what you need to do is again click on advanced options, click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options. Okay, now you can click on this option startup repair. Okay, try this option as well. So 
so let's wait this might take long but you need to you can see here it's not working start a repair could not repair your pc throwing the another error so we are going to troubleshoot this issue with the hardware level okay so in the hardware level we need to go to the bios okay so i have made many videos about this topic so you can watch these videos on the playlist and so so you need to make sure you watch all the videos related to software issues so we are going into the bios so turn off your pc okay and make sure the bootable hard drive is showing here turn on your pc now and continuously hit f2 on dell laptop or other laptop you need to make sure you can access the bios okay go to boot sequence now you can see here windows load manager but this is my hard drive okay toshiba 1 so make sure it is on priority like this it should be on priority uefi toshiba okay it should be on priority click on apply okay then go to the time and system make sure time and date is okay here then go to okay system configuration start a operation make sure ahci is selected here okay ahci is supported to the start a operation so make sure ahci is supported and click on here okay after that click on exit let's wait now again same boot loop again go to shut down again turn it on and go to bios and this time we will change the bios mode so go to advanced boot options or boot sequence option go to this option you can see legacy support is gray out so you need to make sure that you have to disable the secure boot first then go to security uh, not security secure boot okay and go to secure boot then you can see here make sure disable this okay click on apply then go to boot sequence okay still blur after that go to advanced boot options and enable this option rom apply okay and boot sequence and change it to legacy okay make sure the internal sdd is selected here on the priority then click on apply and click on exit so let's wait okay now still showing the different error you can see no bootable device found so and let's open your pc make sure the hard drive is detected properly so let me pause the video and so take out the battery okay if you have the internal chip side battery you don't need to do this process but if you have removable battery like me you need to perform this step okay so you can see here put out the battery okay and okay uh, remove any external devices okay and also remove the remove the charger as well okay and 
press the power key for one minutes this will drain all the hard press it for one minute almost Okay, now release it and close this and insert the battery again. Okay, and turn on your PC. Okay, turn on your PC and check if your issue is solved or not. So you can see here the window is loading and it seems like the issue has been resolved you can see now window is loaded it means that error has been gone so hope your issue is also resolved if yes then don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel so thank you thanks for watching